Hello, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Tupperwein. Today we're looking at bicycle designs from the past, present, and future. Bicycles didn't always have rubber tires. Early models had uncomfortable wheels made of iron and unflattering nicknames like the Bone Shaker. Designers often added spring suspension for a smoother ride, even on unpaved roads. And the ladies' models could be ridden even in a long skirt. Bicycles of today are far more advanced. In 2010, Santa Cruz Bicycles introduced APP, or Actual Pivot Point, suspension with a variable shock rate. It delivers a smooth transition from a sensitive initial impact through a more heavy impact resistance deeper in the stroke, until the shock rate progression finally resists bottoming, thus creating superb jump landing and G-out characteristics. To design these new systems, the pencils and paper of yesteryear are replaced by sophisticated CAD systems like Creo Parametric that allow multiple design iterations before prototyping. In the future, we may see a return to more multi-purpose bicycles to replace some of the trips you currently take with an automobile. This Camion Cyclette, designed by Swiss inventor Christophe Michette, turns a bicycle into a veritable station wagon. This prototype can carry up to 300 pounds with lots of room for cargo thanks to the very small wheels. Wired Magazine called it a shopping cart you can ride. But please try to remember not to ride it in public wearing those shoes. Have some class, people. This is Bike 2.0 by Danish designer Niels Vehi, winner of the 2010 Soul Cycle Design Competition. At first glance, it looks quite ordinary. But notice, this design has no chain. Instead, it has a motor on the rear hub, powered by a brushless electric generator in the pedal gearbox. A continuously variable stepless gearbox, no less, controlled by wireless rings on the handlebars. David Swain and team were winners of the transportation category in the 2010 Create the Future contest, where they introduced a regenerative braking system that can be retrofit onto the front forks of existing bicycles. With this device, hitting the brakes will transfer kinetic energy to a hydraulic accumulator, which Swain says is over 97% efficient. Now, since it weighs in at 12 pounds, the system is not for racing bikes. But for commuters, it can really reduce the rage from the red light at the bottom between two hills. Taking regenerative braking one step further, student Camilo Pero Palacio of Colombia designed the Zigzag, a totally electric tricycle. But this is no toddler's toy. It benefits from the stability of a three-wheel design and its electric power and regenerative braking system mean that you won't need to pedal this trike to get where you're going. You can see Creo Parametric in action. It's the same software that Santa Cruz uses to design their bicycles. Just go to ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric to see for yourself. That's it for the product design show this week. Next week we feature food processing machine design. And if that doesn't sound cool, maybe we can tempt you with donuts and pasta.